Now, my Big Sean album review for Detroit 2. All right, I'm going to get into it like this. All right, track one, Why Would I Stop? A track full of confidence. Now, Big Sean is someone... It took a long time for him to get out and actually become a known artist. So for a lot of you that don't know, it, I think Big Sean actually pushed his music for about five years. You know, and this is from when he got his first deal. It took him five years to really hit the scene and for his label, the label that he got signed to, uh, to, to push his music out there. So it's his fifth studio album now that we're up to with this Detroit 2. And... You know, Why Would I Stop is a fitting track for, for a first song for an album. I mean, it's, um, it's a hot and polished album. This track one is full of confidence and rightfully so. Now, the next track, Lucky Me, uh, sounds really nice. Um, it's one that I, I liked. You know, I can't complain too much about it. Um, track three, Deep reverence um that features nipsey hustle and it's, it's probably one of the best songs on the album um given that it's you know probably one of the last features that nipsey hustle did before he passed away um another standout track is actually track four wolves and that features post malone um dope dope song so it you know they've, they've really started to i could see how they structured this album they put like some of the the hottest sounding tracks, you know, with all in in front. Um, though most of the songs are pretty good, but my main complaint with this album, right, as I progressed through this list, so at the moment I've just gotten up to track four. The main problem with this album is that there's too many songs on it, and some of them are very similar in nature to each other. So maybe they could have done a better job with this album by making it actual like a shorter track list. But, you know, it, it's completely, you know, my viewpoint, so I don't know, people might see it differently. Um, you know, track five, Body Language, that's for the women. I didn't really, you know, dig that song. You know, it's more for, you know, the ladies to listen to. Um, you know, then there was another track, Harder Than My Demons. You know, that was um, just an average club song, I guess. Not one that, you know, I really, really digged. Um, Everything You Missing is more soulful and meaningful. That I really liked, that, that track. That was actually something that that stood out. Um, ZTFO is very new school, and I suppose it, I suppose it's going with the theme that like rappers like um, Takashi 6 ix 9 are doing. They, 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 it seems to be a, a, on a similar theme and structure to, to the, the, the new wave, new school sounding artists. And, you know, it's a, trying to appeal to a different market, I think. Um, more the the under 20, 25s, maybe even the um, 18 year olds listening to rap these days. I didn't really like that track, but each to his own. Now, Guard Your Heart, um, it speaks with wisdom in volumes. Now, that's it's, it's a track that I liked, uh, it stood out to me. Um, the next track, Respect It, was average. Um, there's a few tracks that I've skipped in between, but they, they didn't really stand out, so I didn't really want to mention them. Um, Lithuania, um, makes use of auto-tune in certain places. It's, it's bouncy and clever. Not a bad song. It's a bit, bit different to the other songs on the album, but that's what I like when I hear something different. You don't want an album that sounds all the same. Um, and then, you know, Full Circle... That was uh, not too bad, I guess. Um, then the next track after that, more for the ladies. Um, track 17 had faster flows. And really, another track that that stood out was um, Still I Rise. It's more of a preaching song for empowerment and had a good message behind it. You know, but as you progress through the album, the album, it starts dropping off in certain places. Probably the, the strongest point of this album is that, you know, that you're looking at the first five or six songs. Then you get songs in between that are really dope. Songs that didn't really matter. They all, you know, songs that sound the same. And then track 22, I don't know, that was an extra track thrown in. 
Um, it's just a beat. I don't know why they included that on there. Maybe for you know the artists, the aspiring artists that that want to freestyle to a beat. I guess it could be justified putting on there. Uh, all in all, it's it's a it's a hot and polished album um, with deep and meaningful tracks, um, club tracks. You know, hot flows. Um, you know, even flows where Big Sean steps it up and he, he you know his flow stands out and he, he tries to um, rap faster than the, the average MC um, I guess he's trying to cater to everyone on this album so that's that's what he's trying to do with this album but all in all a, a, a good effort it sounds better than most of the, the crap that's out there uh, on Spotify for, for you know contemporary rap I gave it a 7 out of 10. I guess that's, you know, where it's sitting. And a lot of people on, on Metacritic and other review websites gave it, you know, roughly a 6.5, a 7 out of 10 Metacritic. It's sitting on about around 70 out of 100. So, you know, it, it's definitely justified. I, I Yeah, it was a decent effort, um, you know, and... That's my review of this album. Uh, worth a listen, yes. Um, whether it's got replayability, I don't know. I guess some songs do. But, you know, it might not be for everyone's liking this album. But anyway, I'm MC Rapology. Be sure to subscribe to my, my channel. And let me know what you thought of this album.